Uh, Mr. Case. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Blighted, Chief Pittman, I want to go back to a line of questioning that I pursued yesterday with uh, the architect of the Capitol. And the gist of that is how do we best figure out what happened, why it happened, and how to move forward? Um, the observation that I have <clears throat> is that um, we need some independent objective outside review and advice. Um, I think even the best of us um, in circumstances such as this uh, um, are, are hard pressed to evaluate ourselves, uh, to, to um, evaluate where we ourselves made mistakes. Chief Pittman, you were there at the time, uh, so you're not objective uh, in that sense. Uh, and you may have done everything exactly right, but the, but the, but the issue is that you, you were part of it. And so therefore, um, the question is, uh, how can we get to the, to the right overall answers? Um, and so in that, uh, in that spirit, what I'd like to ask is, first of all, just for clarification of exactly what investigations of any kind do you know are underway right now, and aside from obviously the oversight function of Congress itself, including this subcommittee. My understanding um, is that we basically have at least three that I know of. Uh, the first, of course, is the General Honor Ray study, which is focused on the physical security of the Capitol complex. Uh, the second is um, the architect of the Capitol, which is similarly focused on physical security, um, uh, in which he at least has some outside uh, input through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in their area expertise. I also believe, uh, Chief Pittman, that you've referred to an internal U.S. Capitol Police uh, review. Um, and so I'll, I'll just go with you, Chief. Uh, first of all, um, is that correct? Do you have your own review underway, and, and are either of you aware of any other um, more formal active reviews. Yes, sir. So Capitol Police does house what we call the Security Services Bureau. It's primarily responsible for uh, securing national uh, security uh, documents as well as our physical security uh, implementation of equipment and or procedures. So Security Services Bureau is conducting an internal assessment the Office of the Inspector General is also conducting an assessment that would be considered external to Capitol Police. Uh, you already mentioned the uh, task force that's being led by General Honore. They're conducting an assessment primarily as it relates to infrastructure as well as some of our policies and procedures. And then lastly, uh, the GAO is also conducting an assessment of the January 6th event. Okay, so let me just go to those. So when you refer to the Office of the Inspector General, just for my own clarification, what are you referring to there? That's not the GAO, it is, it is who? Yes, so the Office of Inspector General, Inspector General is independent of Capitol Police. Uh, they provide oversight typically to the Capitol Police Board and some of our appropriators uh, as to the um, operations, if you will, to Capitol Police. Uh, they not only do this for incidents like the January 6th event, this is an ongoing independent review uh, that's routinely uh, analyzing Capitol Police's policies and procedures. And then once they uh, make those analyzations, they then turn that information over to the board and make recommendations that Capitol Police uh, must adhere to to ensure that we are adhering to the best practices uh, for a federal agency. And I would just turn it over to Mr. Blodgett in case he has any additional as it relates to the OIG. Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, the uh, Inspector General is going through and investigating various uh, points along along the uh, you know the January sixth uh, time frame and the different units, uh, and we'll be coming out with a series of reports on that. Other than the other than the reviews that the chief is has spoken of, I'm I'm unaware of any other independent review other than the criminal cases that are going on. Well, there there is certainly the 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 overall uh, review by the FBI, which is which we haven't uh, really made reference to, but obviously that is that is underway. Um, so so going back to the the the. Um, question of adequate independent objective um, <clears throat> review and advice. 
you know, I, it's, it strikes me that the, the, the physical infrastructure side of this, uh, that's a very difficult question with a lot of difficult, uh, you know, decisions to be made at the end of the day, but um, it, it is more about a, a, a physical structure uh, to, to protect uh, the capital and uh, its inhabitants. Um, what we're really at in these hearings, I think, far more is, is the, um, the organizational structure of, of the capital, um, whether that structure um, worked, which I think we all have concluded it didn't, um, whether the, the, the failures were failures of, of, of people under difficult circumstances or failures of systems or exactly where those failures occurred and how can we correct for those to assure that they don't get repeated. And so Chief Pittman, and, and, and I would also observe that the architect of the Capitol yesterday observed uh, the possibility of engaging other parts of our federal government who have dealt with similar, similar crisis management situations and have come up with their own best practices. Uh, for example, the architect mentioned of the Department of Defense, also the Secret Service. Chief Pittman, I've got to ask you pretty straight because um, I am concerned about your, your objectivity, uh, not you personally, Chief, but somebody in your situation uh, who, who again was, um, you know, there has a responsibility uh, and, and obligation, and as you said, a friendship uh, with many of your, of your colleagues. Um, I'm concerned about the ability uh, in that context to develop um, that kind of independent objective review that I think any of us would want. I mean, it would be comparable to, to asking a member of Congress to, to investigate and conclude the, the ethics investigations against him or her. And, you know, so that just, that just doesn't happen, right? So, so what do you think? Do you think that we have the right processes in place to get to the bottom of this and to make the, 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 the corrective judgments that we have to make going forward? Do you, do you see a need for any further uh, review or structure? Or what do you think about the possibilities of the DOD and or the Secret Service or some other uh, structure, I think? And I, I would add to that, excuse me, Chair, I would add to that uh, that Mr. Amity's uh, line of questioning uh, was resonant with me in terms of looking at a more holistic view of this, uh, meaning a, a, a across the board view where we are not thinking in terms of stovepipes. My, my observation here is that there are a lot of stovepiping going on and not a whole bunch of communication across the board and that structure broke down. And in that way, it's not all that dissimilar to some of the, the, the critical and tragic um, um, in retro retrospect, mistakes in systems that occurred around 9/11. So, how do how do we how do we crack through all of this, Chief? What, what's your thought on it? Yes. yes. So I know that there are the three independent uh, after action reviews, if you will, in addition to U.S. Capitol Police's internal assessment uh, by the groups that I identified. It is also my understanding that at the speaker's request. There is going to be a 9-11 style uh, commission, if you will, similar to what occurred after the 9-11, September 11 attacks. So I believe that those groups of independent evaluators will come in and advise uh, things that we can do in addition to what the external evaluators will provide as well. So I think that's going to be key and prudent going forward. Uh, soliciting those from outside of even the organizations that we've named that would come in and provide that independent assessment <coughs> and to state how we would go forward, particularly in the long term. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chief. Thanks, uh, Mr. Casey.